Hello everyone and welcome to a new online course by Leuphana University on psychological processes and negotiations on shared resources. Let me shortly introduce myself. My name is Roman Trötschel and I am a psychology professor at Leuphana University. I have been researching the fascinating topic of negotiations for 15 years and I have provided many negotiation courses to students and professionals from various fields. In this course, teaching the psychology of negotiations will be transferred to a collaborative web-based learning experience dealing with human behaviors and perceptions when they deal with comments. In your teams, you will work together on six assignments while exchanging views on the course topics and discuss interesting approaches within the community. For that reason, it is very important that you get in touch with your team, get to know each other and start this exciting learning experience together at the beginning of this course. So please take your time to meet your team members on the platform via chat or even better via call or video conference and exchange your ideas and expectations. Sometimes in my video, I will ask you to pause the video for a moment to think about a question. And now it's the first time I will do this. Please think about your personal relationship to comments in the past. Is there a certain project that automatically comes to your mind? And have you ever thought about the role of psychological mechanisms in comments projects? The field of comments is a vast one. There are so many fascinating and important projects out there. Some deal with exhaustible comments and aim at finding sustainable agreements for their shared use. Other address comments that are created and maintained collectively in order to be shared, such as community gardens or an open source software. But there's one thing that applies to all projects. We need to find agreements on who contributes to what and how in order to distribute resources in a fair and sustainable way. These agreements can be reached through negotiations. The field of psychological research can provide fascinating insights in our thoughts, feelings and behaviors when we start to negotiate the sharing, the contribution and the distribution of shared resources. And this is what this course is all about. The psychological processes or, in other words, our perceptions and behaviors when we negotiate on resources that we share with others. In this course, you will gain interesting insights in our very personal psychological processes when we negotiate comments and work in cooperation with others to reach sustainable agreements. Therefore, you will develop your own comments project while acquiring and practicing your negotiation skills at hand. You will see. Both topics will significantly enhance each other. In the psychology of negotiations, many very helpful tools have been developed to improve the process of negotiations as well as the appendant outcomes. So you have every reason to be curious about the upcoming weeks. But now, let us start by taking a closer look at the basic elements of every negotiation in commons. The resources. Resources are the basic elements of interest in every commons project. Moreover, from a psychological perspective, Resources play a very fundamental role as they lay at the heart of negotiations on commons. Resources are directly linked to our psychological processes. They satisfy our very basic needs, such as nutrients or autonomy. Imagine, for example, an Asian community. Men work together to sow the fields, keep cattle or cultivate plants in order to create commonly owned public goods and they needed to agree on who contributed which resources and who could take which resources out. Resources in this example are the working time they invested and the products they created, such as the flour from the wheat, the milk from the cattle or the fruits from the harvest. In the end, all these resources satisfied the needs of each community member who helped to create and maintain and share resources. In the beginning, I asked you whether there is one common project that automatically came to your mind when thinking about comments. Now, I want you to think about the central resources in this project and, from a psychological perspective, which of your human needs do these resources address? You can find very interesting readings on the psychology of human needs in the library. This is a fascinating topic that helps us to explain human behavior. 
If there was no particular project coming to your mind, no problem. We will change that during the course. Every Commons project has its own specific resources that we focus on. That is why in this assignment we want you to look around to find many interesting projects and to get an impression about the different kinds of resources that can be used during the negotiation of Commons. Please discuss how these resources satisfy our very basic human needs and why humans are motivated to contribute to resources or alternatively start to distribute resources from Commons. To give you an example, why do people share their cars with others and what basic human needs are affected by the sharing of this very specific resource? Possible needs that motivate people to share or not to share cars can be for example the need for mobility but also the need of autonomy or recognition. I'm very curious about your thoughts on how shared resources that come to your mind are related to your very basic human needs. So get started and have a look around in the library where you can find very interesting materials including texts and videos. Start your learning experience now and get in touch with your teammates and the MOOC community. Once again, welcome to this exciting course and good luck on your first assignment.